Hello YouTube, today we're gonna look uh, at another dollar store miracle. This is a luggage scale. It costs four dollars and it can be bought in Canadian Dollarama. Uh, hence the green and uh, yellow kind of signage here. So uh, I needed to have some kind of rough uh, weight estimate of uh, different things and I decided to buy it. And it can, it's capable of 40 kilos. Uh, which is uh, not bad. I'm also curious, you know, how precise is this? Um, it's probably going to be bulk, uh, bulk part measures and also how it works. So let's take a look. Let's get closer. All right, it's a pretty simple packaging and we're gonna quickly open it up just like that. Toss it aside and here we are. Here it is. Uh, here it is. So uh, on top, I guess it have uh, it has the screen. It has on off button and uh, I assume this is battery compartment over here with oh there is a top which needed to be pulled out is CR2032 3 volt battery and as I understand this is the business end you have to like pull it and it's gonna measure the weight and it's, it's all, all it is from the outside let's uh, remove this top I don't know if it's oh it's already on it was on I don't have to kind of pull anything all right let's put it back in this little battery compartment and try to pull it ah okay well I don't know how would you do hold mode so I can pull can pull just like this with okay let's I don't know if you're gonna see it 7.9 kilos of just I try to pull uh, It's really hard to tell. Uh, I think I think it's gonna be fine. I don't know. How would you switch to like pounds? Oh, yeah, you just hold the battery You hold it, it goes off Shut down it has some other symbols has, which uh, say here tear and hold. Unfortunately, the hold mode doesn't work and I don't like so, it. So um, that's pretty simple device, pretty simple to operate. Accu accuracy of it I would uh, judge by uh, using like 20 pound dumbbell and if it shows 20 pound, it's perfect. Um, so what do you have uh, would like to do for now? I'm gonna just open it up and see how it works. Right guys, let's look a bit of in theory of operation of this um, uh, sensor over here. So we know the sensors uh, measure force applied to it or deformation, which causes some deformation of it. And this would be measured by this with their microcontroller. Uh, amplified, not amplified, but definitely it will be measured by this microcontroller. So. Let's look into theory of operation. How does it work and what the sensor actually uh, measure? Uh, so we know that in order to actually measure force applied, we would have to measure a deformation. So imagine you have like a, some kind of load bar like this. It can be made of metal, ceramic, or whatever, even can be wood, I guess. So, and you have a sensor attached to it. And when you deform this load bar, for example, like this, the sensor would deform as well. So the sensor is firmly secured to this load bar. So effectively, so if this is made of uh, um, uh, material like a metal or uh, resistive mat material, resistance of this material would change. In this particular situ situation, uh, it would be proportional to the deformation of uh, the load bar. So this called um, this sensor called load sensor. So it would uh, convert force, deformation force applied to it into uh, some kind of resistive value. So there is such a thing like um, um, strain gauge. So strain gauge would looks like look like this, and this strain gauge under force applied either contraction or expansion. Obviously, you can also, by the way, you can have also another sensor applied here. Uh, secured over here and it would shorten uh, it uh, it would became become shorter and therefore a resistance uh, of it would change as well so uh, imagine uh, this is strain gauge over here so obviously 
it would become a bit shorter right or over here it would be a bit longer and these changes in these resistances would be measured by uh, this uh, device so but in this particular case we have four connectors over here what does it mean typical application of those strain gauges are in so-called um, Wheatstone bridge, uh, bridge so what does it look like it consists of four of them and they are configured as uh, similar to diet bridge like in four uh, bridge configuration then in this case four resistors configuration let's draw it over here and quickly look how it works um, so we have four wires over here two of them would actually apply some voltage to this bridge so there's gonna be E um, labeled by E over here so that's hence probably they are blue and uh, and red so V in all right uh, here are our resistors there are and there are two or four and the V output we uh, will be proportional to uh, the deformation of the load bar but in the normal circumstances when there is no any kind of load like uh, uh, the, the V out will be zero so when we deform this bar or load bar change of, in those resistors would indicate uh, would change the uh, voltage it's going to be uh, either one way or another depending on, on the and um, deformation and that would be measured by this microcontroller and convert into digital signal or indicated on a LCD, I meant to say. Um, so uh, I don't really know how exactly our sensor, uh, those strain gauges are positioned over here. Um, maybe they all like uh, parallel or like two of them like this and two of them like um, perpendicular to uh, the first two. I don't really know, it's really hard to say unless I peel all this stuff and just uh, and I don't want to destroy it really but maybe for experiment I will do but essentially this what we have here so we convert um, force applied to this uh, metal bracket into voltage changes and voltage changes are measured by this microcontroller and displayed on the screen this is a really pretty basic and at the same time pretty neat idea the kitchen scale the bathroom scale the all these days using this even the huge scales in the garbage dump or beside the highway using similar strain gauges they be, will be much 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 more powerful but this is um, um, essentially how it's gonna work okay uh, i put it back together and obviously i tested if it works and it has actually uh, worked fine i have a 20 pound dumbbell and it measures between 19.9 .9 and 20.3 uh, pounds and that's good enough for ballpark measurements uh, which is uh, what it's supposed to be used for and also it has interesting mode so if, uh, I was wondering about hold mode so if you like uh, pull it and you see like it after it uh, stabilizes is actually go in hold mode and keep your stabilized uh, me weight measure so that's actually pretty good and there is also um, uh, somehow after poking quite a while you I was able to enter the calibration mode it was asking about uh, to apply load of 20 kilos but I have no idea how did I do that I cannot repeat it anymore interesting yeah uh, so um this is pretty much it for now i think uh, there's nothing more we can do here so here is the uh, cheap dollar store uh, luggage scale which is work okay for many would, would work okay for many other things and a little bit of theory of operation and how it works uh, hope you guys like it see you next time